And, and yeah. today, I'm not, I'm not going to bring up the tweet because I don't even want to bring up the 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 the, the mean words that, that were said in that. Uh, but he said he got hacked for something. He said, "Okay, I you know that of if you say you did, fine. All right, that's of that's course. cool. I mean, everybody you know. gets hacked the right after <laughs> something hacked. happens, right? Yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> you weren't hacked. You are a hack. That's the yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the sad news that still continues today is the news of Kobe Bryant. Crazy. Tragically lost Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. in a, heli a, a helicopter crash yesterday. Him and six other people, including his, or maybe it was more, I believe. The number keeps going up, but uh, including in, in that uh, was his daughter, his, uh, his, uh, his young daughter. Uh, 13 years 13 old. 13 years old. His 13-year-old uh, daughter, Gianna, came out. Now, I don't know if this is actually true. Uh, yet, I mean, it seems like, you know, it, this is on Vice, so I'm, I imagine they're reporting this if they are pretty sure about it. I'm just putting that out there just in case some other news comes out. But it says here that Kobe Bryant's helicopter was given special permission to fly through Los Angeles fog. And I mm. heard something where uh, they, flew, they were flying too low and they didn't realize it because it was fog and they hit something. But I'm going to read this just in case, again, I got it wrong. The cause of the Southern California helicopter crash that killed NBA legend Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others. Wow. Mm. So we had a total of nine people mm -hmm. that died on this. this is a, yeah, and believe me, we just don't know the names of these other people. And we've heard them, and we just don't know them as well as Kobe Bryant. But we want to just make sure you know that I think the loss for all these people is felt. I mean, we probably know more about Kobe, so it feels more. But as other people that died and they lost family members man you know uh, family members lost them so let's remember that they also are gone too but uh, it says here that uh, remains a, uh, they said it, was, it remained a mystery but air traffic controllers were reportedly concerned about dense fog in the area which the pilot was given a special clearance through uh, despite the poor conditions pilot era what is this Zobayan was mm. given a special visual flight rule clearance by the Burbank Air Control Tower to fly through it, according to a radio conversation between Zobayan and air traffic controllers. And I think that's what it was. Like, it was too low. He was, uh, he was flying too low. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't have uh, good visibility, and I think he mm -hmm. hit a hill or something, man. It was, yeah, it's, it's terrible. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Especially when, you know, you, you got somebody telling you that uh, it's low visibility. You got to get special clearance to fly. I mean, you know, it's one of these things where this is something that he probably does frequently, mm -hmm. right? So for him to, you know, circumvent some of that stuff, it's probably, you know, something that he did before. So yeah, he felt comfortable yeah. probably doing all this stuff because I hear a lot of people saying, oh, why didn't he just drive? Why didn't he just do that? No, it just seemed like there was something that he was comfortable doing. If, if the weather seems kind of doubtful, or a little dubious, or a little crazy, mm. don't get up in there, man. Yeah, especially if somebody of you know somebody who's knowledgeable of you know uh, weather and flight patterns and conditions are telling you that you know this may not be the safest time to do something. You may want to start to think about that and you know take that into consideration before you charge ahead and do something you know yeah yeah if you need if you need special <laughs> clearance maybe you shouldn't go <laughs> well that's another thing man you know i guess and i'm just i'm just taking a guess here i don't know yeah we don't know we don't I know, know. Yeah, but, I, don't what, know. but what i'm saying is is that i don't know but i hear a lot of times that these private aircrafts they're they're there for people to get someplace quickly Quicker than the average person. Of course. So mm -hmm. somebody, like you said, if Kobe wants to go, if JFK wants to go, I don't know, Limp Biscuit wants to go, whoever. <laughs> if they, <laughs> they want to go, then they go, you know, and they and they kind of call the shots probably. So, you know, because yeah. regular aircrafts, they're going to say, hey, look, it's crazy out there. And, we and ain't they flying. flew long too. Like it's they flew 40 minutes and then they fell. I don't know how far they were going to go. But like in forty minutes with a helicopter, it would take hours with a car. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, man. All hey, and again, it's and again, you know, you don't know. But again, this is probably routine for him to take that flight. Yeah. A life is lost, and several others. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, 
That's terrible. Yeah, and it's and it's yeah, it's a terrible thing, man. So, you know, even if one person out of the group is somebody that you didn't care for very much, you would think that with other people on board who has who has nothing to do with this person's personal life and what they've done, especially when there's a child on board, you pay some respect. You would actually come out and try to even you maybe you just try to hold off a couple of days if you want to be shitty. Not, not comedian, not shock comedian, not I say anything I want to, R.A. Shafir. I, can, I can't speak for the man's comedy too much. I know that he is, does a lot of self-deprecating Jewish humor because he himself is, uh, is Jewish. I haven't seen a lot of his comedy, so I'm not going to judge him on all of his comedy. I will judge him by one piece, very specific piece of comedy that I've seen with him. And at the time, and, and let's look, this is all I have to judge it by. And you've heard me bring this up before. Uh, when he did something that he thought was edgy, or this movie thought was edgy, that he did in this, that one of the worst films of the decade, some people might even say the worst film of the decade, uh, inappropriate comedy. Messed up. Free trips to Africa. Chicken, get the chicken. Follow it. You can do it. Did you tell them about the basketball? You know, I'm not going to sit up here and say that I was totally offended. I just think that what they were doing, this is a movie that, uh, you know, they were trying to actually do racial humor, and then they're going to pull out the whole thing of, well, you know, pfft, it, anything, is, uh, anything is, is, is game. Nothing's off limits. I mean, this is comedy. I'm not, I'm not offended. No, that is not comedy. That's lazy. Mm-hmm. That's just using that, that, no. That's just saying. That's just looking at a person. That's just like looking at a black person or a Jewish person or anybody of color or or maybe you know whatever group it is and and, and saying stereotype. You know, <laughs> sexism, racism. You know, it's not. There's no joke. There's nothing mm-hmm. clever there. Oh, you're throwing chicken down. Oh, because black people like chicken. Wow, man. Boy, you're you're edgy, dude. That is that's lazy. I'm. I would even say I'm more offended. I'm not even worried about the jokes right there. You can make fun of black people all you want to. You can say some things. I, I do agree. There's a certain way to do things in comedy. That ain't it right there if you ask me. So as you can see, apparently my man, he loves to try to shock and go against the grain. So he's like, you know what, f- it. I ain't even waiting 24 hours for this thing with Kobe Bryant to blow over. I'm going to say what I have to say. You know, it goes back, of course, to the allegations of uh, sexual assault for Kobe Bryant. And apparently he was so sure that Kobe did it that, you know what? I'm glad he's gone. The guy who got away with rape got his today. Kobe Bryant. This feels like this guy just wants attention so bad yeah. he can do anything. And like he doesn't have like good comedy that he can shine himself. So he just does whatever he can do. And what he'll do is he'll say this and then people say some shit to him. And then he'll fight back saying, yeah, well, you know, if you can't handle it, so what? You know, I, 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 I can speak my mind. I can say whatever I want to. I'm, and, hey, I'm, I'm speaking truth. You guys are the ones that don't get it. And then cool. he'll run under, then he'll, what he'll do, he'll run under the uh, Joe Rogan show and have Joe Rogan tell him. Now, and this is not a rant against Joe Rogan, but, you know, he's always on Joe Rogan's show. And Joe Rogan, of course, is like, you know, he's one of those guys. I'm not even saying that he's wrong or anything in the circuit because I haven't. I haven't really heard anything where he's has said to the effect of, well, you can joke about anything. So I can't say it. Maybe he has. But I know that, you know, they do have these conversations where they say, yeah, well, hey, it's a joke, you know? Come on. <laughs> you know, and, and by the way, it's my opinion. So I should yeah. be able to say what I want to say. And that, and that is true. And does freedom of speech pop in there too sometimes? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> of, course. of course it does. From this and that clip I just showed you, he is not a good comedian. No. Because all you're trying to do is get by by shocking people. You have mm-hmm. no meaning or context or story behind it. You're just saying shit just to get a rise out of people. And that, my friend, is not comedy. That, yeah. is, that is not comedy at all. That is, again, that's lazy. Is he saying that this is supposed to be funny? Is this, this is what he's saying? Well, no, I think, he really, I think he really means it when he says it. I think he really does have something against Kobe. And, and yeah. today, I don't, I'm not going to bring up the tweet because I don't even want to bring up the... the the, the, the mean words that, that were said in that, uh, but he said he got hacked for something. He said, okay, I, you know, that, of if you say you did, fine. All right, that's, that's cool. I mean, everybody you know. gets hacked right after <laughs> something hacked. happens, right? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you weren't hacked. You are a hack. That's the yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this with people. Now, he's higher than some of the people I'm talking about, but I've seen this with open mic nights and shit like this where people who think that they're funny, they're not, but they will have they will have the biggest nuts in the room because they're surrounded by a group of people who encourage them and tell them that they're funny. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what this guy does. He's he probably surrounded by some people that let that, you know, they all rip off each other and think they're funny. But this right here is not, man. You speak in your mind. That's fine too. Thing is, I'm not gonna even sit up here and and, and I'm not gonna get mad, man. I'm not gonna get mad. Thank you for the sub right there. Trey Bear, big pretty, thank you. I'm not gonna get mad. He can and he can say what he wants. And I'm not going to try to give him the reaction that he is. I'm just going to talk to you. Listen, I'm going to talk to you like 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 a man and like just like I, what I hope to be two decent human beings at some point talking to each other, man. At least I'm going to try to be because you've just been a complete asshole, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you and this is not what a decent human being does. I hope I can talk to you as a decent human being, you know, and, and like he's right here. You he probably don't give a f- what I have to say. But this this was low. And in my opinion, yes, this was wrong. This was completely wrong. And may I lay out the reasons why this was wrong. And let me just say, it's not because I have a love for Kobe Bryant. I don't follow basketball that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, of course, I, I know Kobe Bryant like anybody knows Kobe Bryant. I'm taken aback by this just as much as anybody else. I'm, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, I am the one that person. this is me personally, I, I do feel weird when I see, and I have to be careful how I phrase this because I'm, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody. I do feel weird when I see people crying over celebrity uh, mm-hmm. and somebody that they didn't know. That I heard people crying in LA. When I, and I get it, but I, it, I feel personally weird when I hear about people crying about this person mm-hmm. they didn't know. And then I, and then I read a story right afterwards. And I'm this is I read this today. I read about a horrific murder of four kids, including an infant. And mm. nobody gives a shit, you know. So that so celebrity. Oh, yeah, if you think that was so no. many people get killed all over the world with wars and all this. Yeah, stuff, yeah, you can't cry for everybody yeah. either. I know, I know. Yeah. And plus, and like I said, I get it. We know this is somebody that people knew. You know, they didn't know him personally, yeah. but they knew him. So I, I mean, get I think it. that might. I, I felt that that way as well, Corey. But then you know, you sit back and talk to some of these people who were crying, and it's not so much about the person itself. Is I guess. Well, one person in particular that I knew is the time that he, that he represents. Yeah, yeah. For so for them is like, yo, he he represents like an era that you know they grew up in. Oh, and of course. Associated with the times and yeah. you know different feelings or things going on when he was around, so it kind of brings up all those feelings because yeah. he Memories. represents time. Oh yeah. For a lot of. People. Oh, no, I completely get it, man. I completely yeah. get it. I'm, I'm making a point in saying that this is not right. me like sitting up here just trying to defend Kobe Bryant because he's a celebrity. Right. When Michael right. Jackson died, that was a part of my whole, that was a part oh, of my yeah. life that was gone. So I did. I, I mean, I, I found myself teared up and I was like, wow, am I crying? Because that was a whole part of my life that was gone yeah. when Michael Jackson died, man. So mm-hmm. I, I get it. But regardless of how I feel or what I, whatever I'm talking about with celebrities and crying for celebrities, I, I know how to respect you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I know I know how to respect and I know that they what I, what I know is that there's a family regardless of how you feel. There's a family that lost. Mm-hmm. There's a family that lost a husband and if we want to take it beyond that. They lost a child, man. Yeah, families, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fa- and there were other people on there, man. Yeah, and you want to bring this yeah. negative shit up right now? Yeah. You know, you you did you're disrespecting the family that's more than these kids that were on this that were on, that were, that were on this helicopter. You know, you're really gonna put the family through this shit. That's that's why it's wrong. You are hurting other people, man. You are a selfish mother, f- man, for doing this. You are a selfish human being. You know, I, I'm not trying to get too serious or anything, but goddamn, man. And let's let, let me go, and let me go further. These are. This is an allegation from twenty what like twenty two years ago. But Kobe while. Bryant, this is a, this is a, it's just my personal belief. But I'm gonna tell you something. If I don't know what happened with the situation, and I, there's doubt there, and that situation has moved on, then I don't know. I let it go. So don't. So you know, I there, if I don't know, I don't know. And a lot of people don't like that. They, they hear that I don't know. A lot of people mm. don't want that. A lot of people want. A lot of people want definiteness. They want to say they didn't do it. Or they are in the case of Ari Shafir, they did do it. Were you f- there, man? Do you know for sure? 
I think that if you you have the right to feel you the way you do about Kobe Bryant, if that's the way you feel, that is fine. And I get that too. But there is a time and a place to bring that up, man. And this was not the time to do it. You did it just so it, just, you did it just to get people riled up. You and did it just, just to get a response. Clicks. What's that? Just for some clicks and some thumbs ups. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some light <Lights>. downs. <laughs> Get a thumb up his ass. He, keep <laughs> <laughs> he may like that. You know yeah, he might. <laughs> I think that people, I think this is a horrible thing. People have their opinions. And I, res- I I truly do respect, call it whatever you want to do, different opinions, freedom of speech, you know, different brands of comedy, ab- abrasiveness. I even, I'd even respect, like, you know, offending people. I've done my great share of it. I get it. But. This was not the time to do that, man. And this was a very, this was a big example of of you being a very selfish human being, because you just wanted attention. You didn't, it's, you don't even care if he, if you, you say you're mad because he he raped this chick. You don't even care about that. No. You know, yeah, you're not out here champing for that. You're out here doing no. this because you wanted to get people talking about you. The guy who got away with rape got his today. You hear that today, today, man. You are ugly. Yeah, you are ugly, ugly human being. Yeah, you are. You you really are, man. I'm talking about what's on the inside of you. I hope. <laughs> I hope somebody. I never said. You know, I don't give a f- about people who see. If somebody. Somebody asked the other day, are any celebrities watching this? I mean, that would be cool if they were, but I'm not riding on that. You know, I. We do what we do. And we do it for you guys out there. You know, I love what I do for that. I love the freedom of uh, what we have to do that. But I hope that he actually, he actually sees this. He might not care, but somebody. And I hope he gets a lot of people that tell him that. I hope because I, I hate. I would hate for you to continue to be this kind of person, man. This guy will never be successful. I think that's going to be his uh, punishment. Yeah, right here. Yeah. This is going to be his downfall. You're right. I mean, you know, he got his today. But what about everybody else who's on that helicopter? They they deserved it too. Right? Yeah. yeah. All, everybody else deserved it too, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. It's stupid. That's the stupidest shit you can say right there. Wow. Does that yeah, that make that that well said, man. Wow. You, so this, this is what you wanted. You wanted you want a lot of people. That's another thing. You you really are rubbing it in the faces of the other victims of this tragedy. Exactly. When you say exactly. he got what he deserved. So the other people deserve to be taken down with them, even if you feel that way? No, he's yeah. very, very sorry for the rest. But Kobe, he's cool with it. <laughs> Nah, man. This no guy just thing. wants the attention, and he got it. But this kind of attention will never, will never be good for him. So I don't know what he's trying to do, but I don't know. And I just really hope one day, instead of all this anger that I that a lot of people are feeling, and you are even feeling, if that's what you think it is, uh, I hope you look back on this one day and realize just how bad this was. And it's easy to talk to talk this way, but like, let's say, what happens, like? Five years from now, this guy got into a car accident or gets sick or something and dies. And then people are going to talk after him like, he talks shit, Kobe. Now he got his or some shit like that. Like, do, do you, is that what you want? You know, just like, you want people to hate you like this? Uh, Cor, I know, oh, yeah, saying he ain't the only one. Yeah, I know Evan Rachel Wood came out and said something. Actress Evan Rachel Wood on Kobe Bryant. Bryant. He was also a rapist. Uh, basketball legend Kobe Bryant was killed with his 13-year-old daughter. Yeah, we, we, we know all this. Uh, let me see. However, one actress was unique in her message. Even Rachel, um, God damn it, <laughs> even Rachel Wood, mm-hmm. Evan Rachel Wood, Evan Rachel Wood, known for her roles in Westworld and True Blood, tweeted out a reminder that although there is much to mourn, Bryant is an accused sexual offender. His fans were not pleased. That, well... You also have accused, to, not he's convicted. A, he's accused. accused. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. No. Oh, well. What has happened is tragic. I am heartbroken for Kobe's family. He was a sports hero. He was also a rapist. And all of these truths can exist simultaneously. But that's not a what? truth. That's what? That's not a f- truth. <laughs> what? That's a, you know you can say alleged wow. if you want to, but you know. Wow. So but what is the point saying this? Like, what this tweet tells us? Like, are you trying to remind us, or like these all can exist together? So, what is the whole point? Like, wow. what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know, the thing is, is that you That's that is dangerous. a very dangerous thing. I you know there's a I know there's out, there's a lot dangerous. of anger with women not being believed believe me I've I've commented on that before I get mm-hmm. it man I'm not trying to I'm I'm not trying to dismiss that but there's a very 
dangerous precedent that that is set place where you start to like take allegations and really push people. Yeah. With to to say that this they are that label. They are yeah. a rapist. That's crazy. She's saying like it's truth. Like, you know, that's what it is. I was a judge on the on the case and I said he's guilty. That's what she's that's what she's making it sound like. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. You gonna write that down there. He was a champion and he was also a rapist. What? You know, get get where did that come from? You, you know what that is? That's that's self righteous. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. You know, when you use when you using a, a when you're using a tragedy to to go in and politicize and push an agenda, you're being right. self righteous. Right. There's nothing honorable about that at all. Uh, anyway, anyway, y'all, I said I didn't. You know, I'm glad I got this out the way. People, st- it's not going to stop. But just just think about what you're doing, man. There's, Interesting. Put put your feelings aside for just a moment, man. Just yes. a moment and really think about the bigger context of everything. 